he sits down with Anna uh, next. Uh, or, excuse me, Nutcracker nut face. Oompa um, doompa, oompa <laughs> dee days. Let's say goodbye to Nutcracker face. That was nice. very fun and very forced. Hey, Dylan, I know you're going to get into this, but I want to at least p- put this in the uh, the people that are listening to this podcast's uh, heads. Listen to how Nutcracker head uh, face tries to control the language. Okay. Sure. And and like kind of rewrite history of what was taking place simply by her choices of words to describe her behavior. She starts off by telling Matt what she did. She referred to it as it was rude. Right. And it was a little more than rude. Sure. Not crack her head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I I wrote down that this whole thing was very you know Bill Clintony after he got mm-hmm. caught doing the whole What's cigar in a staffer's What's vagina thing. Yeah. Did you shove a cigar? <laughs> In a 22-year-old girl's pussy in the Oval Office? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> You're a sociopath. Larry David does this great bit where he goes, Clinton thought he was going to get a blowjob from a Jewish woman without any consequences? What's the matter with him? <laughs> Anyways, okay, so Anna begins breaking down. Sorry, breaking out in a rash. <laughs> and crying about, uh, she's crying out an apology. And that's when Matt very slowly tells her that she's not going to be part of his journey anymore. Um, Final thoughts on Anna. I would just say word to the wise. The only more pathetic character type to fill on this show than villain is the villain Ziago. Mm -hmm. It's a role littered with poor, forgetful showings that end in tears. If someone's going to be the villain, do not be their sidekick. Don't be the gimp. Uh, yeah, so uh, something interesting here, though, and I don't know if Matt said this directly to her, but it was definitely implied. Um, when she did say she felt really bad and felt like a dick, he actually kind of relates to her. He says, you know, I've been a dick, too. Uh, that being said, I have to take responsibility, and I need to follow my heart, and uh, you need to go home. Not mainly because of the rumor and being a bully, but because I have 14 girls here that are way more attractive than you. Alrighty, so shall we get to the girls and a talk of bullying culture? Hashtag be best. (laughs) 